Now we're going to look at how you can take a truth table and convert it into a logic circuit. So what is the logic for this truth table? So you can see the truth table here has all combination of the inputs and specifies the outputs for all of this. You should also notice this is the same truth table we just figured out from the logic circuit, so you should kind of expect we're going to have the same results as what we had in the previous part. So let's take a look at this by first looking at just the y output. So we're going to figure out what's the equation for the y output. And if we look at this, we can see there are a whole bunch of terms here. So y is true here. So when is this true? Well, this is true when a and b are both 1. So this term here is a and b. How about this one here? Well, y is true when a is true and b is false. So this is a and not b. And then correspondingly over here, y is true when a is false and b is true, or not a and b. So we can now say when each of these individual things is true, but how about the whole y? Well, y as a whole is true when any of these are true. So now we have a bunch of terms. We have one type of logic term for each one of these outputs, and we know how to combine all of them. And we can now go and write out our equation. So here it is, not a and b coming from here, so not a and b, or here's this other term, a and not b, and here's the last term, a and b. Now we know it's or between these because these are, y is true when any of these are the case. So by looking at this here and looking at the inputs, we can write down what the equation is. And then here's the circuit for that. So this is a pretty complicated circuit, but let's take a look at what's happening here. So let's take a look at this input here. So here we have a is false and b is true and y is true. So here's a going into an inverter. So this is going to say not a. So here we have not a going into the AND gate, and we have b going into the AND gate. So this AND gate is not a and b. Now let's take a look at the second step here. This is a and not b. So here we have a coming in, and we have an inverter on b, so this is not b. So this AND gate here is a and not b. And finally the last AND gate is just a and b, so a and b are hooked straight up, and this becomes a and b. Now we want to combine all of these together, so we've got this OR gate at the end here, which says it's true when any of these are true. So we've got three inputs to our OR gate because we've got three terms, any of which can be true, it makes Y true. So how about the second output, X? So we figured out Y, now let's take a look at X. Well X only has one term where it's true, this term down here. So what is this term, i.e. when is X true here? So x is true when a and b are true. So a and b are both true, then x is true. So this term here is simply a and b. So now we can go ahead and write out the equation. Here's our a and b term. So here's the complicated term we had for y, just coming from here. And here's the other term we have for x, which is coming from over here. So we've gone from this truth table to a logic circuit. Now let's go try this out in Logisim. So I'm going to go over here to Logisim. I'm going to click the plus here to create a new circuit, and I'm going to call it my AND OR circuit. And now I'm going to go build the circuit that we had over here before. So I'm going to put in an AND gate. This is for the X output, and this has two inputs. And then I need three AND gates for the other parts. So we had three of these. Again, this had two inputs. And so I'm just going to copy and paste this AND gate so I get some more two input AND gates. And now I need two inputs. Here's my input A, I'm going to duplicate that input and create another input B. And then I'm going to go ahead and hook up my first AND gate, which is just going to have A and B. So I can go ahead and hook that up. And then the output from the A and B is just X. Here's my output X. Now the output Y is the OR of these three. So I'm going to create an OR gate in here, and I'm going to tell it it has three inputs. And I'm going to go ahead and wire it up to and here's the output for that OR gate, and this is going to go to my output Y. So let me enable that output Y. Now you notice here these wires are all red, and they're red because Logisim doesn't know what the values of these gates are because they're not hooked up to anything. So this E over here says there's an error. So now it's time to hook these up. So the first term we had over here was not A and B. So let's get this not A and B in there, and to do that I need an inverter. 
So here's an inverter, and I'm going to say this is not, oops, make the wire over here. Here's A, so that's not A and B. So there we go, not A and B. The second term is A and not B. So I need another inverter over here. So here comes A, and then I want not B. There's not B. And then the third term is A and B. So I'm just going to take A and B and hook them up. And so now everything's hooked up, so everything's green and the output's working. Now we can go ahead and check this, make sure simulation's enabled, reset our simulation, and we can change the inputs. So if A is true and B is zero, then the Y output is true. That's correct. And it's true because this AND gate is true in that case. Our AND up here for X is still false. If both of them are true, then both outputs are true. This is true because it's an AND gate with one AND one coming in. And Y is true because this AND gate down here is true and the output is the OR of those AND gates. So now we've gone ahead and built our circuit in Logisim and we verified that it works the way we expect. So, I mentioned this earlier on, but this is the same circuit we had before. And we came up with this complicated formula here, but before we just had A or B and A and B. So why do we have this complicated formula here? What's going on? So let's take a step back and take a look at this. We started out with this simple circuit here. We had one AND gate and one OR gate. Y was the output of OR and X was the output of AND. We took that logic and we created a truth table. So we figured out for all the possible inputs what all the outputs were. We then took this truth table and we created logic. And to do that, we looked at each of the terms. We figured out the logic for this term and this term and this term. And we said, why is the or of those three terms? And we came up with this complicated gate. And we just played with them in Logisim and showed that they do the same thing. So the question is, what's going on here? Why are these two logic circuits different? Well, the answer is they both do the same thing. This circuit over here is just not a very good circuit. This right here is OR. This is a really complicated way to build an OR gate. And the reason this is is because when we converted it from the truth table into the logic, we did it in a very simple way. And that simple way gave us an inefficient circuit. 